there's still a couple on the floor now that I've addressed I'm about it. To do a review. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> you ask me about that popcorn one more time, I'm going to step on it and grind it into the carpet. Then it's going to be harder understand? to pick it up. Do you understand? Why don't you ask me another question? Why is the hair on you, Dylan? That's a good question. <laughs> you, you, you said, <laughs> and I quote him. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Mike Check 95 another Mike Check production to Mike Check Movie Review. If you like this video, like it, sub, sub to the channel, and share it with your friends. I am with my cohorts. And Orphan Joker. And we are in chapter four of our Resident Evil experience. So as Numbers. You can, as you can tell by uh, enthused Michael is, it's clear that other people were just as enthused about this film. So, this film's budget was $60 million, and they made... Three hundred and two point two million dollars. So that is twice as much as the other movies made. Mm, okay. I'd like to say that this movie's production value went up from the other two. They did a better job of cinematography in this film than the other ones, as in they actually zoomed out and showed expanses and okay, layers. It didn't just cut from scene to scene really rapid. So the critics put this movie at a two point one, and the audience puts it at a four point eight. Production values up. They definitely spent a lot more money on this. Some of the CGI, pretty crapola. But at the same time, I don't think there's a single point in the movie when they did the CGI where I stopped and laughed or I said, "Wow, this is freaking ridiculous." CGI was still isn't like today's standards, but for 2010, I thought the CGI was good for this film. There was a, a couple spots that were when the giant guy was going. I don't know if they slowed down on purpose or whatever, but it seemed a little weirdish. They did. At this time, Sons of Anarchy was huge, and the guy who played the director was a big guy in Sons of, Sons of Anarchy, mm -hmm. so that was probably some money to get him, Wentworth Miller. It was also a time when Prison Break was huge, so that's another one where they probably spent some they spent some money on casting more than they did in the last seven months. I... Dialogue was better, too. I remember when I said that it felt like they actually put a fucking effort into the last movie. I was saying, like, I felt like they put more effort into it. I felt like the creative writing aspect of the story was a little bit... It, it actually grabbed my attention a little bit more than the other two films, mainly because it was more like a survival movie. What happened to that effort? I feel like this one, they put effort into everything but trying to make this a Resident Evil film. Yes, agreed. I think it's kind of like, I think it's the same thing that we've argued about on um, Jason Goes to Hell. If you are a Friday the 13th fan, mm -hmm. and you go through and watch part one through part eight, and you see pretty much the I've same thing two. over and over, no, let me explain because I can do this. Yeah. So if you're a Friday the 13th fan, and you go to this film wanting to see Jason kill teenagers or camp counselors at Camp Crystal Lake like you usually do in every other Friday the 13th film, you're not going to like this movie because this is literally a sci-fi movie what the gone wrong. The only reason why this movie is bad is because it's a Jason movie. If this was not a Friday the 13th or Jason movie, this movie would be perfect. Take the whole Jason element out, this movie would be fantastic. To kind of stick with, like, the series itself, like, at this point, it has stopped trying to, like, at least follow the story that it originally tried to grow from in the first two films and the third film. And the third film, I thought, was the best one out of those three. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they're like, hey, Vin Diesel's doing it right. Let's do it the fast, the fast and the furious style, and just fuck everything up. Yep. This Slow mo is, bullets. This felt like a side mission from everything else. That's yeah. why I say it was like. They completely ignored the the limited resources that were in the last one. There's no limits on resources apparently in this mm -mm. one at all. Um, the bad guy's super OP. Despite not having, like, any of the scientists or studies or any of, like, we're going to transfer the data. All of a sudden, now I'm a super robot dude. <laughs> super robot zombie dude. Um, 
two things I really didn't like is number one, whenever they took away her powers, like, oh, cool. But that's what kind of what made her special. And, and she still used them anyway. <laughs> Just no blasties. There wasn't really like I mean it's, this legitimately like was like Matrix. Put one one. Alice shows up in one place. She shows up in another place. All this stuff's happening. What happened to... I mean, yeah, there was a little bit of storytelling that connected to the third film, but that was at least a grand total of at least eight minutes of the runtime of the movie. The rest of it was just, go here, go there, go there, go here. Their, their uh, ability to make a movie was much better, but their ability to cohesively tell the story and not just throw a bunch of random stuff like, oh, we're going to put in... Uh, uh, was it triangle head or pinhead? It was a combination of both, right? Sackhead, dick fuck, I don't know what to yeah, call him. giant thing. Jeez. No explanation for anything. No, like, every other guy, oh, it's an experiment. Oh, just random dude in the middle of Hollywood. Like, that makes sense. He, he probably, <laughs> I, I think he probably was an experiment. There was just no, like, explanation, mm-hmm. no backstory. He was just there. Other thing is... Uh, Alice, she's like, oh no, this place is gone. I'm gonna just randomly fly to, oh look, Hollywood. Like, why did she? That's the literally opposite side of the country. Like, unless she went to Mexico, that's like, the literally the only place she could go and be like, hey, I shot it in America still. Why did she go to Hollywood? That's the thing. There was no reason. She never explained. She wasn't think... following anything. She was like, I'm just gonna fly till I see stuff. I think this is kind of where they, people from what I've read up in the past, because this was the main reason why I wanted to do this series. I think this is where they started kind of retconning stuff that they made from at the beginning of the series, started developing their own bullshit as they go along. And this is the one this is one of the first of two retcons that happen in this series. Mm. So there's gonna be another one guys. Out of all of them, like they already screwed up the world. This was probably like Don't say it's the worst. This is the worst one out of Story all. Story-wise, yeah. uh, They've already screwed up the world. They can't make it any better, so they're just trying to make it fun. This is literally Kinda the like worst the, one, because it just... It's, it's, it looks good. It's shot good. It's filmed great. The yeah. casting is great. The acting's not bad at all. It's just... Polish a turn. It's still a turn. I could give my rating, just because I don't want to talk about the science, because... There's too, there's too much. We would it's, have a three-hour review if we went through. And we don't have the time right yeah. now because of the battery. And there's not, like, the last one, there's literally that one point I could take away from it to, like, just, re- it said why the science sucks. Just, it's just, it's a sci-fi movie. Nobody gives a shit. Um, so, like, it's cool. You know, cool CGI, action, pack, crazy zombies, all this stuff. Matrix ripoff, uh, not really going anywhere. All of a sudden, there's, like, this super lab Cody, like, ship somewhere where they just freeze people but don't do experiments on but the guy was super OP before that so it doesn't matter so we're back down to this movie was okay so I'm gonna give this movie a rating like if you took out everything it had to do with Resident Evil it'd be like oh this is pretty cool but then you realize all the other stuff that it like ripped off and things and it didn't go anywhere it's like a three you know I, I, I would watch it and it's good. I'd recommend my friends, hey, watch this interesting thing, but don't watch any of the before or after. Just watch this cool thing and say, that was cool, and then stop. Don't even read up about it or nothing. This film, I'm going to get... It, this fil- film is flat for me. Um, so, with it being flat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it an even five. Because um, it is just okay. There's nothing about the story... There's not, not enough story for me to like it, but it was produced well enough that it was entertaining to watch as a movie by itself. As a Resident Evil film, awful film itself it was if it was a standalone movie and I was just like hey well, let's watch this movie aside from the cliffhanger ending <coughs> it was really good <coughs> but with it not having anything to do with the rest of the thing it puts me at even five I'm gonna keep That's mine short and sweet I'm just gonna rest this at a four because it to me like I said polish a turd you can make it you can make it look as best as you can it's still gonna be shit because I it's not, I, I don't know, I just, I I had a hard time just trying to comprehend everything that was going on in this movie, because Even I just got, it, I don't know, it, just, it was just fucked up. Um, that is our thoughts wait, on wait. Afterlife, we're, what? I put on my cool hat, it was pretty cool, I would like to raise mine to a 4.25.
for oh, cool fact because okay. it made fun of but it it didn't make so it it hinted at the matrix Cool, cool it basically factors. ripped the Matrix off. I know, but but I didn't have you to rewatch the Matrix. For the entire movie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool fives. Due to, due cool to five. battery life right now, we're cutting it short. But uh, oh. this is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions. Mike Check Movie Review with my cohorts. <laughs> and Orphan Joker. And uh, we're signing out. This film, uh, please, somebody stop me before I... <sighs> Who wants to watch the other two? <laughs>